Throughout urban legends, folklore, and all types of stories, we hear all about different types of creatures. And not all are rainbows, butterflies, and smiles. Many are scary. Today, I'm gonna bring you the ones that I know would be definitely too much for me to handle emotionally or physically. They'd probably just tear me to shreds, let's be real. So, yeah, most amazing fam, I'm Abby, and here is top 10 scary creatures you would not want to encounter. Right before we get into it, make sure to check out Most Amazing Facebook and Instagram for even more Most Amazing stuff. Just throwing that out there. At number 10, we have a siren head. If you are lost in a rural area, keep an eye out. You could be the target of a murderous siren head. It is 40 feet tall, as tall as a telephone pole, with dried and mummified skin. It is said to stalk and murder its victims as it roams around graveyards, woods, and rural towns. Its targets are usually lost travelers, people out for a hike, and sometimes even children. To lure victims towards it, it uses powers to mimic. Just like its name, it can mimic sirens, but also news broadcasts and even people's conversations. The siren head can use sounds of a conversation between a victim's loved ones to bring in their prey. If you get close, you probably won't be able to get away as it can run up to 240 miles per hour. That's faster than any car I've ever had. And also to hide from hunting eyes, it can shapeshift into a tree or a tall pole. So the first sighting of the siren had happened in 1966. A family was on vacation in Arizona and took a photo on a Polaroid. It says Arizona Desert Family Vacation 1966 and that's written on the back of the photo. But let's move on to number 9, a skinwalker. This creature is from Navajo folklore. They often get mistaken for werewolves but are much, much worse. They can shapeshift into almost any animal and wear the skin of the animal they turn into. That element of wearing the skin is where their name comes from. In addition to this, they can mimic the sound of any animal or human and are said to even be able to take a hold of you. If you make direct eye contact with a skinwalker, they can put their essence into your body and control it. And you just don't know what's going on. Does no. So for a person to transform into a skinwalker, they kill a close family member. Once they transform, they gain stamina, strength, and speed. They are another incredibly fast creature with a running speed of up to 200 miles per hour, still faster than any car I've ever had. So when they wear the skin of an animal, it's especially creepy because many people share stories of encountering what they think are wild animals. But then the animals run away on their back two legs as if they are possessed by something else. A skinwalker. At number 8, we have a skunk ape, aka Florida's foot. So these creatures were first seen in Dave County, Florida in the 60s and 70s. They are said to roam in whole packs through Florida's Everglade forests. And they run upright on two legs. They are an unknown species of ape that have black fur and glowing red eyes. Their namesake comes from the foul smell the creature gives off. Some people say the smell is like if you would mix the smell of a skunk and a wet dog together. Mm, not good. But there is even an official skunk ape headquarters in Okopee, Florida, and it houses attractions and merchandise. Part of it even houses the stories of Dave Sheely, a man who tried to hunt the skunk ape for 30 years. He tried to get it recognized and documented as a species to no avail. There are still rumors that the skunk ape may have a taste for the meat of humans, since people disappear in South Florida swamps every now and again. Is it the swamp or is it the skunk ape? But another creature, number seven, the Wendigo. So the Wendigo, or sometimes pronounced Wendigo, has been talked about as having the power to curse humans by possessing them. This leads to the rough translation of Wendigo as the evil spirit that devours mankind. It stems from indigenous folklore, and the Wendigo is a cannibalistic creature that would strike during cold winters when food would run short and an intense hunger would take over. Wendigo are now described as a creature with a hunger that can't be satisfied, as it takes to continuously stalking the woods for hunters and travelers. While their thirst for blood can't be stopped, however much they eat doesn't change their physical form. They are extremely thin to the point that their skeleton nearly pierces through their skin. They smell like death and decay because if one finds you, that's what's likely to become of you. At number 6, the Chupacabra. So this creature was first recorded in March of 1995. Ever since then, it has been reported all over the Americas. It's mainly been reported in southwestern United States, Mexico, Mexico and Puerto Rico. Its direct Spanish translation is the goat sucker. This is from its reputation for feeding on livestock by draining their blood. Kind of vampiric if you ask me. So a chupacabra is the size of a small bear, but people say it could be some sort of ape. A definitive trait of its looks is the row of spines that protrudes from its neck to the base of the tail. Other hypotheses of where it comes from are that it is an extraterrestrial, an unknown species of reptile, or a surviving dinosaur. Whatever it is, I don't want to cross its path whenever it's feeling particularly hungry. I like my blood in my body. At number five, Nearlethotep. 
So this creature is a monster that appears in the works of H.P. Lovecraft as well as Auguster Leth. He is one of the cosmic outer gods. You wouldn't want to run into this bad boy since he can shapeshift into over a thousand different forms. When Nier Lethotep puts on a human guise, it's usually an Egyptian pharaoh, but it could be others. As a smooth talker that uses propaganda, he amasses followers really easily. The followers then lose a sense of the world around them and are used to achieve this monster's cruel goals. He is deceptive and manipulative, and definitely a foe you do not want to face. At number 4, a Demogorgon. So you must admit that the Demogorgon that was featured in Stranger Things is not something you ever want to come across. Even in mythology, a Demogorgon is a god or demon associated with the underworld. Its name is even taboo. The other names it is referred to are the monster and man with no face. In Stranger Things, we see the monster as a thin humanoid creature. Its limbs are elongated and the arms end in claws. The skin is slimy and don't get me started on its face. It appears featureless at first, but when it opens its full face mouth, you can see rows and rows of teeth. The abilities of a Demogorgon in mythology include interdimensional travel, strength, telekinesis, blood detection, regenerative healing, and durability. At number 3, the Delahan. So, the Delahan is the Irish headless horseman, also called Gon Kion. It's also called Gon Kion, which also means without a head in Irish. He is said to have lost his head from it being blown off by a cannon, but it's never too far from him. He carries it by his side in his arm. Its head isn't even useless because it's said to have supernatural sight. The Delahan can lift his head up in the darkness of night and see into the houses of those who are dying. He rides on his horse using a spine as a whip, and only when he stops is someone doomed to die. He takes the souls of those ready for death by saying their name aloud. The person named immediately dies. Had to include an Irish one because represent. Yeah. At number two, the Slipmouth Woman, aka Kuchisikana. She got the cut on her face from her husband who slashed her face with a sword. So now she goes after others with scissors. The Slipmouth Woman comes when you aren't expecting her. She will come find you and ask you a question. And you better hope you know the right answer, or can give the right one if there is one. She is said to wait in the shadows until you cross her path, and she will appear in front of you as a woman wearing a surgical mask. But that is just there to hide what is behind it. She will ask you, am I pretty? And you won't even have enough time to answer before she lowers the mask. Beneath it is her mouth that has been slashed into a disturbingly large grin that exposes her teeth and tongue. She will ask another question, am I pretty now? And this is where you have to measure your reaction. If you say yes or scream, she will cut your face to match hers. But if you say no, it could be worse. If you say no, she will let you walk away, but she will be watching you, following you home until you think you are safe asleep and then she will kill you. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could try to run, but she is quick and may just kill you for it. Is there a solution? Seems like not, unfortunately. But let's move on to number one, Slenderman. The Slenderman is an urban legend and mythical entity that lives out in the woods. He is very tall with long and slender arms and legs. Some have said that he wears a suit and tie while others say he is more of a tree-like figure with tentacles up to 12 feet long. Either way, he is a being to be feared. His typical targets are children and he has been photographed lurking behind large groups of them. After abducting children, he leaves notes. Those who speak about the Slender Man in a suit say he used to be a normal person before he became something else. With willowy proportions, he appears to float, indicating he may be ethereal now. Whatever powers he has, he uses, as he uses his outstretched arms to put victims into a hypnotized state. Once they are helpless and under his control, he has his victims walk into him. And who knows what happens to them when they are in there. And I, I sure don't want to find out. And that is that on that. Those were top 10 scary creatures you wouldn't want to encounter. And let me know what you think the worst one would be to encounter below. And while you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when we post. I've been your host, Abby. And until next time, goodbye.